Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori and this is Holy City Mystic. Thank you so much for being here. So it has been a while since I did a Kazemi, um, Kazemi Combust and Under the Beam, so I'm going to knock another one out today. We are going to talk about Jupiter Kazemi. So just as a quick review, Kazemi is either 17 minutes or one degree depending on your astrological tradition and what you follow. Combust is eight degrees or under that on either side of the sun. We're, we're talking about the sun here. So Kazemi, heart of the sun, 17 minutes or one degree. Combust, eight degrees of the sun on either side. And then under the beams is 15 degrees on either side. So when we're talking about Jupiter, first of all, Jupiter is this great planet full of luck, expansion, abundance. is like, it's almost like the magic in your chart. It's, it's what the gifts of the universe have for you. And so when Jupiter is Kazemi, you have the sun shining through that light of Jupiter and it's almost like gold light going all over your chart. And you just have this Jupiter energy within your soul. They did a study one time um, looking at people who believed they were lucky versus people who did not believe they were lucky. And they found that people who believed themselves to be lucky were able to spot opportunities that other people in the same scenario were not able to spot, even though the same opportunities were presented in each group because it was a controlled study. So the people who believed themselves not to be lucky had the same things around them that they just didn't notice. Like there was money left on the sidewalk or the opportunity to buy themselves a free coffee if they wanted to, etc., etc. But the people who believed themselves to be lucky were looking around for lucky situations. And so that's kind of how I view people who have Jupiter Kazemi in their birth chart. It's like they expect luck. They expect the universe just to be abundant because it always has been because Jupiter is within the heart of their sun. Things that are associated with this, luck, expansion, abundance, the idea of what everything you touch turns to gold, optimism, joy, like just this feeling of ultimate harnessing of the universe's gifts within you. Now Jupiter combust, so within eight degrees on either side of the sun. When any planet is that close to the sun, it is almost like the sun's heat dissolves the planet. And so the planet is not going to be as strong because of the proximity to the sun. So if you have this in your birth chart, you can have almost this sense of being unlucky, having to work extra hard for things. I forget who said it, so you'll have to excuse me, but that idea of luck favors the prepared, that is something you believe in, where you don't trust the universe to just come out of nowhere and hand you everything that you want. You really have to rely on yourself as well, and you build that self-confidence through knowing you do the work. You are the one who is going to find the needs that you have and fill them. So you can be very independent, very self-reliant, but also there can be this idea of a mistrustfulness in the universe. So almost this pessimistic idea of anything that can go wrong will go wrong. So again, this isn't necessarily a bad thing. It just builds more work that you have to do. You don't get to sit back and enjoy all these gifts of Jupiter coming in. You really feel like you have to work for them and you have to harness that Jupiter and almost give it a boost yourself. So with Jupiter under the beams, this is going to be 15 degrees on either side. And this is not as intense of a detrimental situation that combust would be, but it's still overshined by the sun. So with this, you really have to look at mitigating factors. So if Jupiter is in a sign that it really, really likes, so it's in domicile in Pisces and Sagittarius, and then it's also exalted in Cancer. So if your Jupiter is in one of those signs, but it's still technically under the beams, that gives the power a boost back, and so it might actually even out. Also, if it's trined by anything, or if it has any other factors that are kind of boosting that Jupiter energy, you really might not feel it as intensely as if it is combust. And so basically all the this is is it being slightly dimmed by the sun's light and so Jupiter instead of acting as this big golden gift giver of the universe it's going to act as more of a lesser gift giver of the universe so if you have these in your chart or you have any questions about this please let me know and then I am still offering readings if you guys are interested in getting one from me you can follow the link below to my website and book me there I hope you're doing okay and have a great day